Ever thought you could transform your body, build muscle, and melt away unwanted fat in just seven minutes? Hold that thought. Today, we're dissecting the buzz around the seven-minute workout to reveal if this lightning-fast fitness routine can genuinely deliver on its bold promises. The seven-minute workout is a combination of aerobic and resistance exercises designed for individuals with time constraints or, you know, just those who prefer short, intense workouts. But does it really work? A study conducted in 2017, published in the Journal of Sports Medicine and Physical Fitness, delved deep into the world of quick workouts, specifically the seven-minute workout. Over a span of six weeks, researchers closely monitored participants aged between 18 and 30. These individuals were split into two distinct groups. The first group embraced the seven-minute workout daily, while the second group, serving as the control, did not engage in any form of this workout. The objective was clear, to extract the tangible effects of this condensed workout regimen on body weight and composition. This study was pivotal. It aimed to provide clarity on whether short bursts of high-intensity exercises could indeed offer significant health benefits, or if they were just merely a fitness fad. The results, as we'll soon discuss, were quite enlightening. By week three of the study, participants in the training group saw a decrease in their BMI with an average reduction of four centimeters in waist circumference. Oh, and hip circumference? Yeah, that also showed a significant reduction. Most notably, there was a marked decrease in fat mass and percentage of fat mass by week six. However, no significant changes were observed in mid-upper arm circumference or hand grip strength. The study concluded that even a short-duration workout can impact the nutritional status of individuals who maintain their regular eating habits. This suggests that the 7-minute workout can lead to improvements in waist circumference, offering better cardioprotective nutritional status. In simpler terms, this workout can be a fantastic starting point for those looking to embark on a fitness journey, given its simplicity and minimal time commitment. Of course, we should take a breath and consider other research on the topic. For instance, a study published in human kinetics journals with a focus on aerobic and resistance exercise in pediatric obesity highlighted the combined benefits of these exercise forms on body composition. This systematic review and meta-analysis of randomized trials aimed to determine the effectiveness of combined aerobic and resistance exercise interventions on body composition variables in overweight and obese youth. The results were quite telling. Over a diverse range of studies, aerobic plus resistance exercise interventions, ranging from 8 to 24 weeks in duration, led to significant reductions in body weight, body mass index, and fat mass. Interestingly, longer exercise sessions of at least 60 minutes resulted in even greater reductions in body weight and fat mass and an increase in fat-free mass. This underscores the importance of not just the type, but also the duration of exercise when aiming for optimal body composition changes in the pediatric population. Don't move on from the 7-minute workout just yet. The 7-minute workout, scientifically backed, is a beacon for those seeking efficient fitness results. But remember, while it's a potent tool, its impact varies based on individual genetics, dietary habits, and overall lifestyle. Consistency is paramount, but so is personalization. Tailoring the workout to your unique needs can amplify its benefits. Diving deeper, one study from the Journal of Obesity highlighted the importance of high-intensity training. This intense approach has a valuable role in improving cardiovascular health. Expanding on this, a study titled High Intensity Intermittent Exercise and Fat Loss published in the Journal of Obesity sheds light on the effectiveness of high-intensity exercise in reducing subcutaneous and abdominal body fat compared to other exercise forms. The research indicates that high-intensity exercise can be more effective at fat reduction than regular aerobic exercises, which can tend to drag on when you're stuck on a treadmill marathon. I've always believed that the intensity of a workout can make a world of difference, and this study just reinforces that belief. While regular aerobic exercises like walking and jogging at moderate intensity have their place and are great for your overall health, 
they've led to only minimal weight loss in so many cases. On the other hand, high intensity exercise seems to be the real game changer, especially for those carrying a few extra pounds. I mean, who wouldn't want to get more results in less time, right? The exact science behind this significant fat reduction is still a bit of a mystery, but one thing is for sure, the potential of high intensity exercise in combating obesity is something we can't ignore. It's like the old saying goes, it's not just about the time you put in, but the effort you exert. However, the fitness realm is vast. While the seven minute workout is a gem, it's just one of many. Pairing it with a balanced diet and regular check-ins with your body can elevate your fitness journey. If you want to have a professionally structured step-by-step -step workout and nutrition program, you can visit our website by clicking the first link in the description of this video. As always, stay strong.